Sam, Sam, baby. That's it. That's that. All right. Oh, that's that's some people that just thought about their health, huh? All right. All right. Is that your cousin? What up, cuz? I mean, ain't no gang thing. I just, you know. Um. <laughs> Key the girl. The master shopper. <laughs> That you got a man, you know, they car, your car going to be good. <laughs> Woo. Uh, that wasn't funny. Uh, Exodus. Uh, we've been talking about war, good warfare. Yes, sir. If you want to know what you're up against, all you have to do is watch the Grammys. Oh, my God. Man, man, man. man. You know, Ooh, that you know. Thing in there. <laughs> After. Chris Stapleton and Stevie, they should just shut the whole thing they down. They should have. Okay. Okay. I totally agree. <laughs> and so, he said, what do I got to do with warfare? Because that is a fancy word, a synopsis of the spirit of the world. Yes. So when you look at the Grammy, you're talking about the world. You're not just talking about the United States. If you travel, you'll know that. If you travel, you go to Tokyo, you hear the vilest lyrics with no filter. Yeah. You go to Paris, France, they got f bomb. I mean, people be shopping, packed out. They don't take nothing out. Okay, so you look at the Grammys, you're looking at the world. And, you know, we, we deal with a lot of young people, and uh, we have some people who on the uh, 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 Daydreon, who could be right there on the cusp of. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna superstar them, right? But when, but not losing his integrity. Amen. Amen. And I've noticed that he he doesn't want to be famous as much as he used to want to be famous, right. right? Because he's seen the underbelly. Yes, Lord. Huh? He's seen what I won't call the group where they cut his performance short because he was killing them. Right. And they used to kill it, but that age. <laughs> Then he said, I'm kind of little shady deals. So it's an underbelly. Uh, even, uh, you know, she's a beautiful girl, talented. I got her biography. Uh, she'll never want to talk to me because they're going to be real short. Uh, Beyonce is basically a music savant yep. in the studio. No, I mean, it's, you know, Tony, Tony, Tony said when she was like 11 or 12, yeah, about 13, she went in there and laid everybody's tracks down. She ain't never need another girl. Right. But you, you can't. Find nothing that gives God glory and cuff it. <coughs> Read the lyric. Catchy beat, no doubt. Okay. But she got too much money for people to tell her. Because here you say, oh, it's just words, just music. No, no. See, Satan, that's what's wrong with, with that little, remember Hell Date, the little bitty short dude with the little red devil? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some of y'all like that. That was all your dates was Hell Date because you, you was with devils. It's a catchy beat, but death and life in a part what? How many rappers last year died just from right. their lyrics? Right. You can't go to Roscoe Chicken and Waffle because, you know, <laughs> your lyrics. Right. Uh, Pop Smoke, you talented kid. Your lyrics. A couple teenagers robbed you. You know? Uh, so... Death and life, that doesn't change because somebody's proper. Death and life in the part of the tongue. And where Cuff it, and, and that's the dream, help her write that. And uh, now Rogers, he's legendary with, uh, what's that group he was uh, with? No, no, he was with a uh, guitarist for Chic. He's with them, okay? Legendary talent, legendary. But death and life is still in the power of the tongue. <coughs> okay. And I, 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 I say it's going to be song of the year. Everybody tick tocking. You know, it's easy to show your butt than show your mind because wouldn't nobody be up there. Because yep, yep. someone got some empty basements. Right. Okay. No, nah, for real. So show your butt. And then you find it don't work or it's <laughs> a hallway. I, I ain't trying to talk about that today. Um. Uh, but but she's got 
a, a demon, she'll come up with a crisis. And a demon, where she calling on to God, oh, she thanked God. But no, you don't thank God after your song took off. Because some of y'all have cuffed it your whole life. Okay. Or a demon will come back. Her daughter's sick. Uh, she got blood in her stool urine and come back and hum her words to her. Y'all don't believe that, though. But you know what? Add it to your unbelief. Death and life in the power of the tongue. Yes, sir. Now, I hope today you spoke something good over yourself. All right, now. Mm -hmm. Death and life in the power of the tongue. Uh, uh, that's why you got out of an abusive relationship. <laughs> you, if you repeat what those demonic people say to you, you'll kill yourself. Right. Okay. Words are powerful. What I tell couples here, don't go airing yourself off and go to my office and think I'm going to fix it. I can't reach in the air and put those words back in. Okay? Death and life in the power of the tongue. Those are lyrics. I told Davion, these are superstars. Davion, down there in Silicon Valley, ain't, it, there's no telling what's going to happen in his life. That's right. He's that gifted. Yep. Name a, name a church anywhere that has two, three Berkeley graduates. Okay, this one right here. That's right. Right, Berkeley graduates. <laughs> so these these kids have that's a that's a that's a that's a that's a Bentley education, three hundred sixty some thousand dollars. All right. Yes, sir. But I told them because I don't have nothing riding on them being successful. Right. Don't call me up. You win a Grammy. I want. I see my pastor out there. I'm embarrassed in front of the TV. What they gonna do? Uh, uh, Five second delay. <laughs> because they were told before they make it, you don't get rich. I don't need you to write a check. I already got a Lamborghini. I, I ain't trying to hitch my wagon to you disgracing God. That's right. That's right. Okay, so these people got so much money. They mama, right. dad, nobody, they all rich off this girl. She never thought Rihanna would be richer than her. I don't think she did. I don't think she ever thought Jennifer Hudson would get an Oscar, and she didn't. That's just the way it is. That's but she's right. super ta beautiful girl, super talented. And then trying to thank God for lyrics that give him no glory. Like hmm? Oh, y'all yes, oh, want to play with me? Uh, we going to F it tonight. You've been doing that your whole life. <laughs> right. Oh, now, you, now you don't know. You don't, you don't bop them, but you don't know the lyrics. <laughs> your whole life. Huh? Hold up now. You might have tried to F it up for one night, but it lasted years. Talk to me now. Okay. I want to go home and watch the game. I want LeBron to score points tonight. You better go ahead and teach Uh-huh. Now, now, now you got amnesia. <laughs> I, my, you know, I love my kid. That, 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 that heifer that took your parking spot, and you whooped her, she came back. The demon that talked, she could whoop you, but she came and unloaded in your acro ledger that wasn't bulletproof. But look what you got sitting on your lap right now. Yeah. So if, 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 if she would have effed it up tonight, you ain't here. See, people don't look at that. Did the girl, the white girl, go to the hood yep. in a little bitty house? Yep. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, well, some of the locals sitting there shooting. Somebody went there to F it up tonight, and she's dead. That's right. You don't look at it that way. Okay? See, lyrics. I love music. All right? Music is powerful. Before I get to my music, it was designed. That's why David had to calm that bad spirit on song. Music, every song is designed to take you somewhere. Yes, it is. And since I told our superstars in here, Davion, Dadrion, that Brianna ain't no joke. Even Era went there to babysit, but she went to Berkeley too. Huh? Yes, she did. <laughs> she went into it like them. Okay? Said, don't be lyrically responsible. Davion said uh, uh, that the men on the album, I said, how would men with daughters, how, why would they? Put their name on WAP. 
Oh, that's sexually liberating. Man, you, you got whopped after you gave up the whop. Come on now. <laughs> Y'all, it's just music. If it's just music, why are we in the situation we're in? Okay. Okay, you want to take something that God set aside for marriage that's beautiful? Which makes the act, now y'all, now everybody want to be have a halo now. That makes the sexual act possible. That's what lubrication is for, right? Right. Oh, you want to talk about sex? Talk about your car then. Talk about oil, all right? <laughs> <laughs> y'all want to play? Okay, you should have told cuz. I, 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 I ain't got no filter. I ain't trying to build no ministry. <laughs> we talking about literally responsible. Marriage. If you're going to talk about all biological things, then let's talk about breaking wind. Let's talk about taking a dump. Let's talk about urinating, missing the toilet. Let's talk about all the other things. Don't just take one thing. Now y'all mad. I don't I'm care. I'm going to go watch the game. You don't take one thing. Right. Hmm? And, and sometimes it may not hit Beyonce. Until a spirit come after blue. I love little blue. She's just different. Man, I hit her. And trust me, those demons. Hmm. Can you imagine praying something happened? You know, and ooh. You know, I just had I just had a first hand account uh, of pancreatitis. And my wife getting a knee a, a, a shot in her stomach. I hmm. But guess what? Mm -hmm. I don't want no demon singing a song to me. All right. <laughs> and I only say this because this girl, talking about church girl, she took a song for got healed on. Yeah, yeah. That I see when she was linked up would sing that song. Okay? You can't play. Y'all, God ain't no little boy. If he's a little boy, you're going to call on him when you need him. And can't reach him. Come on, come on. Huh? Everybody is uh, until you need him. Yes, sir. Until the doctor send your child home and say, we can't do nothing else for him. Until the doctor tell you, we can't do nothing else for right. you. We've done everything we can. We give you antibiotics, whatever. Somebody thank God for a relationship. There's going to come a time when that God, you're going to need him to come to your wilderness. I know. It might be this week. You don't play with who you need. Not God. Not a God that'll let an apartment fall on a child. And they pull the baby out. The woman gave birth under concrete, folk. And God let that baby live. Sure Pulled out a whole family. Yeah. Oh, those are Muslims. That's God, folk. <laughs> you don't want to play with that kind of power. Give me some. I'm just, just letting you know the Grammys. That, that, and, and, so I told somebody, our young people on the first row, third row. I don't know. We're going for 100%. But are y'all strong enough to go to college, get in the workforce, to be an adult with your own principles and standards? Yes, sir. If not, this world going to blow you away. But watch this, though. All roads lead back to us. This is mercy right here. Yes, mercy is when I take this okay. and start off. How many times has God done this in our life? And on the arrogant people, my, my son, the arrogant folks, look, I got a lot of time. No, you got to look at how, don't focus on this. Focus on how quick to prove it. One minute you was a senior, now you're out of high school five years. Ten years. Fifteen years. Twenty years out of high school. Every time you pass, you got to pull over on the high street. You, you. Your little uh, running rabbit, a bunny outfit, don't be more uh, fit no more. <laughs> <laughs> a dog. A... 
You went to Northwest and got husky. Come talk to me now. Come on now. And got husky. <laughs> oh, man. I'm making everybody mad as I go home and watch the game. Got husky. <laughs> North Viking. Time waits for no one. Here's what you want God to do. Say, How do I approach God? And, and then check, check this out, Brielle. I, I'm trying to, I saw, heard a song I thought was good. A nice little man with a little hip hop, you know. And I saw some lyrics. Said, Hold on, he, he didn't say that, did he? He was talking about how grateful he was. And then I found out he could only be grateful after he smoked a blunt. Oh. No, the, the whole song, I mean, it's, it's. Why you got to smoke a blunt? Right. Now, I ain't going to ask y'all because some of y'all slip it. But how many of y'all happy didn't have to smoke no blunt? Uh, yeah. Grateful without a blunt. Who grateful they don't need a blunt no more? Uh, come on now. I, I got some wake and bake folk up in here. Wake and bake with... With, with, with new, with new birthmark. How have I got the same birthmark at that bottom lip? <laughs> so I had, to, I had to delete it out of my library. Because my boy got to be high. I want to be grateful. Mm-hmm. I don't have to be. No. Hmm? I don't have to be high to be grateful. But, but the other night he was saying something really nice little catchy beat. And y'all say, oh, you tripping. Well, let me trip before I go home. Hear what you want God to do. <laughs> Look at Psalm 68. Okay. You know why I know this. This is my psalm. Your yeah. psalm, cuz, let me talk cuz. Cuz, your psalm is, whatever your birthday is, plus one. Right. <laughs> okay, plus one. So look at verse, and then I get to what I'm talking about warfare, and we get out of here. Uh, 68, look at verse 7. Oh God! No, no, no. First, look at six. God said at the solitary in families. NIV is real. It's kind of better than that. He said if the lonely. I believe it says lonely. I'll go to the NIV. I got NIV right here. That's why okay. I keep it here. Because you know they try to the religious people try to tell us it King James. Shut up, <laughs> religious people. Couldn't have couldn't spell Deuteronomy. We're gonna tell me what Bible I like. I hear you. My, I got my little homie on the front row. All right. Yeah, yeah verse 6. In, in, in a, in a, God sets the lonely in families. He leads out the prisoners with what? Singing. God don't need no more folk trying to serve him mad. Because it's a gated community. Mm-hmm. You enter his gates with what? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Okay, it's a gated community. Now, if you don't handle your money right, this might be the only gated community you can enter into, all right? <laughs> it take, it, you got to pay bills if you have a gated community, all right? So you got to come in singing. Read. Uh, I went to the NIV. I got it. But the rebellious live in a sun-scorched land. Look at verse 7. This is why you don't want to mess with God with no lyrics. Uh, that things can happen in life where you're going to be able to open up your mouth. Hmm? I don't know my daughter because she didn't give it all detail, but when that girl unloaded that gun, I don't even know if you had a time to say Jesus, but God spoke you into these seats. Huh? Sure did. Hey, y'all know this is my girl. Well, I always remind her, she told me the story. I, you know, I need her to be tragic, but that's why well, I'm glad to see her. Satan had looked like he set up a pattern in her life. <laughs> and, and that, that ain't got nothing to do with, <laughs> that's a devil. A devil, a devil could know what you bring to the table oh, yes. and you don't know it. Oh, yes. Huh? Mm-hmm. You may not be able to see the souls attached to you. Hmm? <laughs> Even though Tamika came out of Quanah's womb, Quanah's soul was attached to the little girl that came out and walked with God. That's 
And then Quanah brings Kobe, amen. And they had to intervene for Brittany. Man, see how God, yeah. see things line up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He lines it up. <laughs> Watch this now. Why do we have a tinker? Because Amila comes, brings a daughter, uh, who brings a friend named Brandy out of foster care, who runs into a Dante who was the least in his family, and now he's a police officer, and out of that womb, out of the girl that lived in a car, amen, huh? now we have a tinker. We, we got, we got, we, we got a, a macaque who is heading for yes. superstardom. Yes, yes he is. Wow, it's always the oldest child That's who's right. had to suffer. That's right. Okay. Why doesn't the baby in the family act like the oldest child? Because the oldest child, you was practicing. You know how to parent. Even now, sometimes you, uh-uh. <laughs> your parenting skill kind of lacking. Huh? The stuff you went goo-goo with the baby, you slapped the oldest child over. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> he testified to the truth. <laughs> See now they arguing over who got slapped. <laughs> you were practicing. <laughs> hey, what about you, Pastor Ball? Uh, Raphael. <laughs> Ra- Raphael. They, right now they tell us we solve grandparents. They be laughing. But when Raphael graduated, because he the one that had to hear about his daddy being a drug dealer and all that old, you, you, all, you know of Omaha lying folk. And I said, man, don't fight nobody. Daddy, but it's not true. It's not. He crying. He was in tears. Yeah. No, don't. It is what it is, man. I'm, I'm, that's my call. I'm in here on assignment. Amen. If I don't have assignment, I ain't here. You ain't got, this ain't no tourist attraction. You ain't heard. Right. right. <laughs> go to Paris. I took her to Paris. She act like, she said, if I didn't have kids, I wouldn't go back. I told my new little waitress about Paris. She thought I was just somebody who. <laughs> she asked me about my book. Well, probably never seen a black man bring a book to a breakfast, but <laughs> got to talking about stuff. And I know she went back to the back and said, Y'all, you know who they <laughs> Told her to go get a passport and everything. Travel. But she, she went there and found out there's a whole lot to life. Amen. Okay? Back to right. So, uh, Rafi, you don't don't fight nobody. But so when he graduated from college, I got him an Escalade. I didn't give James an Escalade. I got my Dodge Charge out the showroom. Which the way he take care of cars, I should have went to buy here, pay here. He don't he don't he ain't into cars like that. Uh, but I made my point is I made a difference with the older child right. who had to hear all the rumors. Right. That's right. By the time I got to Cammy, he could care less what you said. <laughs> girl tried to tell him something that's south. He had leaning against the wall. He's like, well, you know what? It's all said and done. You're going to get on the bus, and I got a car outside. So. <laughs> 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 no, I was mean, like, you know what? Uh-huh. Hey, your daddy, but he, mm, you don't have to tell me something. <laughs> you, you, you late for your bus? That's Cammy. That's Cammy. That's Cammy. That's <laughs> Cammy. <laughs> this is crazy. Which you know, can't nobody tell you how to. You, I have good kids, thank God. One time, there's a G wagon out there. I used to let him drive a G wagon. I mean, he's a good kid. All right, but my point is that that oldest child you practiced. <coughs> yeah, because you didn't know what. I you dare say, no, you know what you're doing. No. Sometimes you took out on that child. That child got attitude today. Child got hair, won't grow on that side no more. <laughs> 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 uh, see, that that <laughs> yeah that child <laughs> by the time you get to the youngest they tired of fighting in me man All right, Brenda. that's why my, my, here, my sister-in-law Brenda is different than my Brenda. wife yeah. <laughs> been a wild as she could be y'all she's just wild <laughs> and, and, that, that God finally caught up with her <laughs> huh if you saw my white twin, they just as churchy and just as, 
pal. <laughs> uh, that's true. You just saying that she ain't here. She was well. I'd say this ain't thing she know how I feel. But sometimes God puts you in a family. When I say family, I'm talking about discipline. Right. I told a little work today about, you know what, it's buck wild world. And maybe she was listening since that fool at Target went out there with 13 rounds. And thank God a policeman took him out. So the people out there who thought they were uh, invincible, immune, right. no, they're not either. No. Could have been a slaughter. They could still be scraping blood out of their place. That's right. So maybe that's what she was. So when, when, when God sets you in a family, there's discipline. Okay. Remember I teach, you can have, you don't just discipline a child and not have fun. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah, some of y'all, man, y'all ain't fun. Just say amen. You, you all, you all dis, but it's no fun. Uh -huh. you, you only bring in discipline or correction when it's needed, and you don't let it build up. Okay? Amen. But there, there are rules that each child should know. All right? right. Now you got two daughters. Who, some has to clean, boo-boo, room, whatever. And, and, and other than that, after that, you just have fun. Childhood is supposed to be fun. Okay? I got a, I got a, a church van. I'm going to let Cammy trick it out. Ain't no telling what's going to be in the van. Like, I hope it ain't got no three-wheel motion on it. I hope it ain't. Just, I'll try to watch him. But it's to go on trips. We ain't going to be having Bible class in the van. Okay. Unless you say something outside the Bible. <laughs> Then I'll pull over and check you, all right? Other than that, it's to have fun. A family which is all disciplined, that ain't fun. Then your child goes to school, becomes a bully. That's where bullies come from. Ain't no fun at home, so they go to school and bully someone. Right. Okay? He said the solitary in families... He bringing out those which are bound with chains, but the rebellious dwell under the right. Rebellion, never has rebellion. So look at verse 7. When you, God, went out before your people, when you marched through the wilderness. I want God that who, who will march through my wilderness. Yes, sir. Did he go out in front of everybody or his people? Everybody. His, what's it say, his people? The earth shook no, 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 you, you're missing a point here. Back to six. In, in, in seven, when you got, okay, went I'm in NIV. When people. you got, went out before whose people? Your. Your people. And see, people think because they go to church, oh, no, no, no. A lot of people go to church for a lot of reasons. Okay? If the preachers start dealing with that illegal boo thing, they don't come to that church no more. They go find Jamal Bryant who can't say nothing because he got a boo thing. All right? All these other imposters, indoor pimps. Okay? <laughs> yeah. So people go to church for religious experience. When we tell people here, if you're looking for, this is not your church. You know, mass choir. <laughs> Ain't no smoke machine, ain't no nine songs. <laughs> you can't come to the altar, jump them down. If you got to pee, there's a restroom upstairs, there's one downstairs. <laughs> that none of that impresses nothing. Okay? And that's ain't for everybody. We start at 7 a.m. Right. If you coming in at 6 on Saturday, 6 a.m., you're going to miss service here. Okay? And like the bank said, what time you want to, what time? I said 7. She said 7. I said, yeah, I told them they too poor to sleep in. And I mean it, too poor to sleep in. Right. All right? Yes, sir. <laughs> now, everybody is poor. There's poor and there's poor. <laughs> Co compared to Prince Charles. Do you know what the queen left in when she took her last breath? What? Because I, I mean this book. This book is Harry. Harry, Harry, Harry need a Holy Ghost yesterday. Yeah. When, when, when the queen took her last breath, her son inherited there are certain properties around the world that belong to the crown, like 
the only family probably worth more than them is uh, Dubai. Saudi Arabia does a family worth $1.4 trillion, which means they've made millions since we've been sitting here every day. Okay. <laughs> she left him a 20,000 acre estate. Wow. <laughs> About the size of what? <laughs> Some state, right? That's a property, a state, 20,000 acres. And then there's a castle because she died in, uh, how you pronounce it? Yeah, B-A-L-M-O-R-A. That was hers. So she had two properties. That's where she died in, the, in Scotland. Right. They were his when she took her last breath. So we all pole compared to that. <laughs> yeah. If you see Buckingham Palace, Somebody put on Facebook, they live in a mini mansion. I would never do that. But that's probably the size of the queen's doghouse. <laughs> it's her little corgi. Her, her dog probably live better than that. You put that dog in that house, he wouldn't even come out. He's scared <laughs> to death. <laughs> okay. So we all poll compared to that. But I want to belong to those, as I listen to Bishop Jake this morning, who are the true worshipers of God. Oh, yeah. Yes. Not church people. Right. True wor- See, a true worshiper, yeah. somebody who just got to church tonight, but you've been worshiping all day. No, you, you, you didn't have your music blared, stomp, Kirk Franklin blaring and doing lunch. That don't mean you worship. Yeah. I'll mess with y'all. If somebody got on your nerve, you want to cuss them out, but you did, and you said, Lord, you worshiped. Amen. All the people you done cussed out, you you didn't know that was worship? If your latest nasty thought used your brain as a trampoline today, but you're like, no, no. Last time you did that, you ended up with triplets, and you're like, oh, I ain't doing it. Cuz anymore, <laughs> and you how many y'all? I mean, don't raise your head because folk know you're nasty. But you had to rebuke a nasty thought. <laughs> Somebody like Michelle, like, I don't really care, y'all. I'm just, 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 man, I didn't get this far being fake. <laughs> That's worship. All right, Bishop. How many y'all try to have it all? Come on, let me talk to my girl, Quad. Me and Quad have been friends for 30 years. Uh, I mean, they you like, you know what? I ain't got the Bible, but I could show you the blunt today. I can't do that no more. That's worship. Yes, it is. Are you, huh? No, no. In other words, I chose God's way. I chose God's discipline, yes. his yes. word. Yes. Wasn't in the church, but today I... Man, anybody thank God for health, strength, equilibrium, endocrine system, whatever. Yes. That's worship. Anybody ask God to protect their seed. Yes. Todd, did you make it to your destination? People on the road, people on all kind of drugs, coming back home, going to the store. Man, worship is just a day-to-day events. Yes. Anybody grateful? Anybody go down memory lane and say, I ain't got no business being nowhere around here with all the things and the mercy of God and his goodness and the second, third, fourth chair. And you got cats looking at you talking about you got more lives than them. You ever see breaking news and people used to kick it with who are in trouble or dead and man, they facing life behind bar and that was your running buddy. That was your stomp ground. That's where you party at. That's where somebody shout hallelujah. That's worship. to worshipers. Yes. He says already down to worshipers. Right. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Who 
worshipers. Okay? Instead of the ugly ushers uh, looking at you because you built better than them. They need to cover up all that ugliness and hatefulness. to get that out. Uh, I want to be part of God's people and I want him to march through my wilderness. Amen. So so, so the, the, the King James says Selah, which means you're supposed to be thinking about that because you're going to have a wilderness. Right. Let me tell you what's, what, what, what's beyond the third and first row. Wilderness. <laughs> tell them adults. Yes. <laughs> wilderness. That's right. Huh? See, when you're a kid, you get your first job, you think your little $400 income tax check is. I got those, they're going to take it. I don't care if it's $4 or whatever. they going to, man, it, it's wilderness after this. Mm. Right now, I heard you had a superstar game called Lil Young LeBron. I heard you was blocking shots and getting rebounded all in beast mode, huh? huh? Oh, come on now, go, go on, nod your head. You know, all beast mode, all confident in center court. Like, bring that weak stuff. Don't bring no Kool-Aid to no gin and tonic partner. I don't know why I said that, but yeah. That's a good life. Enjoy it. Man. Enjoy it. Like I told Jackson, it's not basketball, it's life. That's right. You win some, you lose some. Mm -hmm. But enjoy it. That, that is wilderness. Yes. Huh? Now, your husband, all that beauty, you know somebody's going to love you. I was like, what, 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 what are you... We got this going on. We got this boop, boop. You know, that's called adult life. And, you know, I remember a game where I had 24 points, 18 rebounds. And I want to recapture that feeling. I said, why are you thinking about that now? We got all this going on. Because I need that right now. Mm -hmm. Huh? You got to rehearse when you was winning. Am I talking to somebody? Yeah. You got to rehearse, amen. When you're in the wilderness, you got to gather as many great thoughts, amen. Or else if you look around the wilderness, you start sinking. It's called depression. Huh? Oh. And you say, you go back to childhood, and man, this happened, that, but if God brought me through that, God can bring me through this. And I want to remember when none of this happened, and I want to trust God. And the, write this down. The wilderness keeps you from being arrogant. Supposed yes, to. Yes, sir. Hard to be arrogant when you can't see your way out. Mm -hmm. Some people manage. Don't ask me how. <laughs> the wilderness. Did Jesus get led by the Spirit to the wilderness? Yes, he did. Well, then that yes, means all of us did. going. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That did. You know, you going. Mm -hmm. And I know you're on the first and third row. Now, there's some kids who have some rough lives. Well, some of the kids in, in, in Turkey and Syria with that earthquake, their parents are gone. Right. That wilderness, their parents, gone. Yeah, gone. The little baby that they found, the mother died. Right. Yeah, she gave birth under tons of kind That's true. That's God. Okay. But generally speaking, you got a couple of limbs in the street. In a wilderness. But you can make a choice, the wrong choice, and end up in a wilderness. If you're weak minded, you can make a wrong choice, get with a wrong group, and wilderness, here you come. All right? A way to tell you this you lock up these kids. You got so many 14, 15 years up for murder. That wilderness. They mean they never, they'll be grown before they see a good, long three day weekend. Because of choices. Right. Childhood gone. All right. I, I, you let your imagination. What happens to 14, 15 year olds when you're 16 year olds when you're thrown in with grown men or grown women? Not pretty. You become objects. All right. That's the wilderness. But other than that, all you got to do is go to school, be respectful, pick your drawers up off the floor. Clean a couple of items. Huh? 
try to extend it. Can I talk to him real good? Because Black Ronnie love the kid. Okay. <laughs> extend it as long as you can. Go to college. You know, go get a trade school. Just, just stay O-P-P-D-M-U-D free. You don't want nothing in your name but your report card. Talk to him, Barlow. You don't want nothing in your name but your report card. Woo, that's a good life. That's a good life. Extend that thing. Be respectful. Right. Mama asked for a glass of water. Bring her a picture. <laughs> I can't wait till I, I get out of here. I want to work the clothes. You ain't going to have a washing machine when you get up out of here. <laughs> I ain't got to cook. You ain't going to have food. <laughs> See, that's that smart aleck child that come over for Thanksgiving and stay to Christmas. Now you want to do dishes. We, you ain't got no food, do you? Because <laughs> once you leave that third row, first row is wilderness. And the other folks, you know, there's certain people want to bring you into their mess because they're not happy. <laughs> you can be happy. You already got to taste that. Yeah. You can be happy and really have self-determination and somebody look at you and be jealous. And they want you in their wilderness. Okay? You know that. But if this is a wilderness, which is just life, the universe side of human suffering, I want God coming in my wilderness. When I can't see my way out. It's good stuff. How you know he coming? Look at verse 8. The earth, earth shook. The heavens poured down. Rain. Hold on, let's get what the earth shook. Somebody could think they got you hemmed up. Some person, some situation, some job. If that earth starts shaking, go look at what happened in Turkey. And Did the earth shake? Big time. What was strong came Big tumbling time. down. Somebody yeah. tell God, thank you. Yeah. What was sitting there that looked like it was formidable is now rubble. Somebody thank God, God will shake things and make whatever's in your way become rubble. The earth shook. Yes, sir. One of my beauty queens, the husband going to love you and say, well, we, we, what are we going to do? Oh, baby, don't worry about it. We're going to wait till the earth shook. What are you talking about? I learned this when I was a teenager. I was paying attention. What, what's that mean? That means God going to come. Right. How you know I was paying attention? Where well, I was daydreaming. <laughs> you marry somebody that won't panic in the wilderness. You think I'm playing the wilderness to end relationships. Okay. Because it's dark. Ain't no way out. Okay? No exit. And don't have two people waiting on God. We waiting on the earth to shake. I mean, God coming. What else God going to do? The heavens poured down rain. Ooh, the, the heavens did what? Poured down rain. Poured down rain. What does that mean? Whatever seed you have planted. When it pours down rain, that means whatever you planted, he that sowed in tears shall reap, shall reap in what? Joy. Somebody got some happy coming their way. Amen. Somebody got some happy. You could have panicked. You could have went back to your old lifestyle. You could have reached for your old pharmaceuticals, got booed up again. Some people, get uh, they go from relationship to relationship trying to get over something. But somebody trusted in God. Somebody didn't call nobody, didn't text nobody, didn't creep out, nothing. I just took it with tears streaming down my face. I didn't go out. I saw myself, amen, wanting to be buck wild. Who would have had to check their feelings Check their nature. Check their mind. How much, how, lock themselves down, amen. Because you believe God. Man, you got something coming your way. Huh? And somebody said, oh, how did you get that? Because I took it and 
God. I trusted God. Come on and tell the truth. I took it. I didn't go out. I gave God another 24 hour. I praised him anyhow. Amen. I refused to be what I used to be. He's been good to me. I, I put songs on that reminded me. His goodness was running after me. I did everything I could. I fought the good fight. I wore the warfare. Amen. The Bible, Makai said, you're going to reap in joy. Watch it. Bringing your sheaves with you, which means you're going to bring the harvest of what you went through. Man, you got something to look forward to. You got a harvest coming. No, 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 no. Those aren't my words. That's the Bible. The heavens also drop. At the presence of God. He lowered the heavens. Yes. Why do it need to be lower on earth as it is in heaven? All right. That thing seemed too high, God. I'll lower it. Now it's over your head, all right. I'll lower it. It gets better. The heavens poured down rain. And the NIV said, the earth shook, the heavens poured down rain before God, the one of Sinai before God, the God of Israel. Here's what I like. Here's my verse. Try to read every morning. Either version you read. Yeah. Your version said, then God did send a plentiful rain. Right. I like, whereby thou didst confirm thy inheritance when it was weary. That's all right. That's good. That's good. But the NIV is better. <laughs> you gave abundant showers. showers. Now, which word you want to trip off of? Showers are abundant. Now, you put them together, abundant shower. That means no sooner you got out of one, here come another blessing. Then here come another blessing. Yes. Then here come another blessing. Yes. Why are you in Who in here want to praise God before I go watch Woo. the game? Well, you got a blessing in the wilderness yeah. because God, you stayed in there, didn't try to exit, and God came to your wilderness, the wilderness of your finances, the wilderness of your depression. The wilderness of your aches and pain and hit you with a shower. Man, my little, all I did was Sunday was testify. So if you enjoyed it, fine. If you didn't, it was my testimony anyway, wasn't yours. Huh? But I'm telling God, you know, my wife's sick and man, all this stuff. And just, you uh, know, oh, I'm just a little chest piece. And then I was thinking about the pond. That you move around while I'm doing it. He's like, you know, uh, forget you. I'm going to get you a church van. Uh-huh. Now, which part of, which, which piece did I move for that? Ooh, come on. I'm just a- being honest, y'all. Yes, sir. <laughs> Abundant showers? Yes. Oh, God. Now, that still ain't hit you. Mm. You know how black women don't want their hair wet. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You always see them hanging around a pool. You'll never see nobody diving in. <laughs> <All right. laughs> uh-uh, get my hair wet. <laughs> I bet God wet your hair, you be glad. <laughs> a bunny shower? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I watched Smokey Robinson at the, gra- at the Grammy. He older than me, y'all. Oh, I know. Let me talk to Cuz. Cuz enjoying himself. Like, like, Cuz, Cuz. <laughs> uh, Smokey Robinson, 82 years old. I'm 67. His hair blacker than your blah and my. my, my. <laughs> yeah. And look like he must <laughs> His colorist had probably had to spend a whole weekend. Because that old hair just ain't going to take no dye like that. <laughs> <laughs> that stuff cake, baked, and everything else off. That's shoe polish, right? <laughs> Come on, Smokey. Hang in there, man. <laughs> I want my blessings to lock in like Smokey's hair color. <laughs> I want, I want, I want my stuff. I 
don't care how long I stay in the shower. My stuff ain't be ain't gonna be Rudy Giuliani and dripping down my face. <laughs> that color in there, bro. <laughs> huh? Abundant showers. Abundant showers. Y'all don't believe that. <laughs> Abundant showers. Yes. Then you re is NIV. You, you refreshed refresh your weary weary inheritance. What that tell you about? You get tired. Yep. That's what weary mean. Right. Inheritance. You get tired. Day. That's why you gotta be careful. All the folk doing wrong. According to Psalm 73, all the folk doing wrong look like they're getting away with it. Mm. I always use Ariel because Ariel, there was a person that she just, she wasn't the great young woman. She just was a starry-eyed freshman. Mm -hmm. uh, and her life is as different than that person she looked up to. Because it looked like folk having fun. Unless you Ben Affleck, it, he ain't even hiding it. They kept showing Ben Affleck with Jennifer Lopez. Mm -hmm. He looked like he wanted to be anywhere but there or with her. And the camera just locked in on it. Anytime a woman that age and still don't want to have dress, it's something missing. It's very demanding. It's, she, she, got, she, she got a bad reputation, y'all. All, goes all the way back to living color. You know she didn't sing her way to prom. I'm going to give y'all some multiple choice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I hope she didn't say she could play Whitney Houston. I hope that was a slip of the tongue. All right, I hope not. <laughs> Whitney can sing better than her dead. <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all. I, I hope, I hope. <laughs> and, and she got she got a little nice little dance steps, but she ain't as cold as that Japanese girl with the JBs, the yeah. one with the yellow pants on. Right, right, right. The one look like she been eating chitlins her whole life. <laughs> she ain't got no bones in her body. Girl, the one with the yellow man, the yellow pants. Yes, she can dance. It's even when they don't feature her. The work she did, her neck. That's a sister move, man. The way that neck had rubber in it. <laughs> <laughs> that yellow pants is bad. Oh, heck yeah. So, Jennifer, that, we knocked out singing and you dancing. That leave on about one other way you got up there. Ooh. Okay? She was in the car, puffy, snake of snakes, but that gun charge don't shine. Yeah. Okay? She's in that limo, all right? And Ben had her before and dropped her. He looked like he wanted to repeat that last night. Uh -huh. <laughs> All the alcoholic, he might have messed over the woman who could have healed him. That's Jennifer Garner. Now, you can't tell me J-Lo is classy as Jennifer Garner. I just disagree with you, Lord. And there he was sitting on TV just miserable. Now, here you wanted to be at the Grammy. You had to go watch it because you had to pay your cable. And, and, and here the man at the Grammys. He ain't broke. He looking miserable. Okay. What they tell you about human beings? Just because they look like they there, they not there. They even try to say Jay-Z and Beyonce were arguing, but he lit up a joint right there at the party. Uh, all that. <laughs> yeah. They're human beings, folk. If you read Harry's book, ain't nothing royal. I had the girl, the waitress, man, she, I had her dying. I said, you know, it's like he came from a hood family. Jealousy out this you got to read this book. It All that property, money, your grandmama on, on money and all that, the human being. Read, write this down. Psalm 73. If you ever get mesmerized, here's a good word, mesmerized by somebody. How many of those kids who are in trouble, dead, who you thought family watched them trap, put all their business on Instagram, money up and down their sleeve, 
couple of them dead. He tells my kid you 9.30 in the morning. There's something happening. The other boy, he, they say he almost made it. You know, they got purple brand. I know all that stuff, all right. But now you're dead. Ain't no purple brand. Uh, wait, ain't no purple brand uh, jumpsuit, is it? Okay, that's what I thought. All right, right. You know, ain't no purple brand jumpsuit. <clears throat> Trapping. Money up one sleeve, money down, holding stack. We ain't talking about fake video money. We're talking about real money. They don't have a penny to show for it. I don't want my top, what's a top golf, what's that? Top what? Top golf executive. I don't want him moved by that. When I said he was catching a plane from Australia and just popped in town to tell the saints hi and that I got off the third row and I made it and I thank God, amen. He wasn't trapping, folks. He was disciplined <laughs> because he avoided all that. People want him to ride with him and this and that and let's do this and not tell them what their real plans were. But God, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, that same spirit that hit him, that made him praise God, he should have finished it. Where the Holy Ghost say, no, don't go with them. And he gets the reward of being disciplined. Your age group is easy. The one who's disciplined wins. The undisciplined But you don't want queens. You want to watch my math. <laughs> you don't want five kids by eight men. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me run that back again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 ain't backwards. You lied on three of them. <laughs> Oh, you know those which one, lady? Y'all watch those, those. Which one your kids, baby is. I can't have watched it because some of those kids are so innocent. Neither one of those fools deserve them. Five kids by eight men. Now, her face all frowning. She's like, you know what? This, this. <laughs> Tell your hood story. What time is it? I can't miss my game. What? Uh, it is what eight o'clock. All right, uh, I'll tell you a hood story. <laughs> I'm getting my car, get some gas. So I'm seeing this dude, he rhymes, hey, baller, what up, boo, 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 boo. I don't like on the subject. <clears throat> oh, oh, yeah, I do. Uh, so I'm going to your church. Oh, yeah, you used to, but they don't go no more. He said, you know, mentioned, you know, that's my daughter. This girl, do no, Paulo. He found a wallet. He showed all his kids, a bunch of kids, and he said, "Look who she looked like." I said, "Dad, I'm just pumping gas." He said, "She came through here. The daughter. It's some low down Omaha stuff. I, I know why some of y'all ain't saying that." She said, "The girl came through. That's his daughter." He tells her about all her brothers, boo, 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 boo. And he said, Barlow, oh, she went back and told my ex-member that, how does man know this, that, whatever, boo, boo? Ain't that some sad mess? She said, my ex-member went up there and told him, hey, don't do that. She don't need to know you the real father. So I said, hey, what? I said, I thought, matter of fact, I made a mistake. And who the real daddy was? Because when she called me and said, I got us. Um, and I went to the dude, I'm not thinking, you know, I'm <laughs> violating. You should have a beautiful daughter. He looked at me like, you what? He didn't get, he's a successful man. He like, and he said, his exact word, oh, no, they just say that. And I'm thinking, man, why wouldn't you want to claim he was not lying? That mess. I said, well, why? He said, well, I, I didn't have the bag that the other guy had. Yep. 
true story. Yep. Hmm. What happens if there's a medical condition? Right. Nurses. And we got to do a family history. Right. What happens? I know y'all doing because a whole lot of got these little secret stories. Ain't nothing wrong with missing all that. Right. Ain't, ain't nothing wrong with missing all that. Ain't nothing wrong with not. Because I dare say if this child find out that my mama been lying to me all these years. Right, you're on the front row. You can avoid all that. Yeah. Hmm? I want you to see the beauty of the real father, and you ain't got to lie. And you ain't, and man, and another thing, you've been with somebody and they tell that's not much man. You ain't got to take that kind of mess. I'm getting you just in case you just can't wait to get off the front row. Because some of these men, oh man, I'm gonna handle my bed. Some of these men got low down mamas. If you got a real mama, she ain't gonna let you mess over no daughter like she got messed over. She like, you know what? That girl, huh, man. It's far and few between. Hot dude living with his mama got Air Jordans, every release that he got, and you ain't got no diapers, no clothes, no nothing. And he at home trying to help you. Hmm? <laughs> that dude. <laughs> you can miss all that by listening. Because your time on the front row is limited anyway. You get some birthdays, boop, boop, you out. It'd be some other folk. I got Ava Joy and I got uh, JC, I got her beautiful girl. They all be on the front row. They'll time up. Other young men going to be on the third row. Okay? It's wilderness out there. Yep. That's self-imposed. But anybody, I ain't leaving you no bad note. Anybody said, man, I didn't say nothing because you're talking about my story or whatever, but I'm so glad that I got a hold of God. I might have started like that. That was all that was presented to me. That's the way my family was, but I didn't have to stay that way. Man, God is good. Nobody gets to pick their family. But what a blessing. If you do avoid it, it's because a Courtney came in here, amen, and stayed no matter what happened. Didn't blame me, didn't blame the church, didn't get mad nobody, and still got you in here so that you, because you may not be cut like. <laughs> she just happened to have a teacher who was an educator. Who, so when she saw the anointing on my life, let me teach her when she was a teenager right. and didn't ask the tag building to nobody. Right. She just looked at me, saw my character and said, I want you to talk to him. Yeah. That was over 30 some years ago. Wow. And that's Courtney back there. I've been through stuff, but never blamed God. <laughs> and her future is so bright. She needs shade. That's a song y'all. Hey. She don't want you reliving her life before she came to God. She don't want you nullifying all the tears and the mistakes. And whatever. Come on, that's a real parent. That's right. Can I go and holler at you, my lamb? But you got enough beauty to think you are above. Yep. Yep. And I hope your brothers look out for you. Ain't nothing wrong being close. Right. If somebody hemming you up and you and Tasha are good friends, and Tasha say, Jackson, I know her. There's people at the school know her. Don't be like ignorant of somebody you meddling. That's some good meddling. You know what good meddling is? When somebody trying to save your life. Right. She performing because she know your mama there, your grandma there. But somebody at Miller North, because it's a small world, though. Somebody at Miller North really know what she about. She might be playing you against some other dude because you come from good man. Okay, is this hoods talk? Because you come from a good family. Right. So if you do slip up, we know that they're going to take care of the grandchild with this other crazy. Man, I shouldn't even tell you all this stuff. No, you need to 
There's some wilderness you want to avoid. But if you do get in there and you God's people, there's abundant showers that he'll bless you. You got it? Yeah. Yeah. You ever get hemmed up? And you're going to get hemmed up. You're going to get hemmed up. You want God on your side. Amen. Talk to him, adult. Amen. You want God on your side. Some things only God can bring you out of. Huh? You want God on your side. You don't want to be booed up with no man. You trying to pray and he laughing. You don't want no female, huh? Ain't no mother just playing with your feelings, playing with your emotions, uh, messing with you. And you got a situation, and now you're about to lose your mind because men, men take rejection different than women. You don't want all that. That's why I told that one brother, build a house. I don't care who you hook up with. Put some eyes on them. Make sure you're not getting took. Ain't a whole lot of good men out there. When I met her husband, after I dealt with that spirit, who well, I told him, you can't come in here. I don't care about no membership. You can't come in here what you did to my daughter. That's ungodly, real talk. And her husband came to me because he didn't know me, but she had, to, she had to tell him about me. You understand? She had to tell him. And when I met with them, I said, you know, he said, next time he said, I saw you, he said, he said, call me son too. That came out of her. Amen. If, 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 uh, y'all play too much. But I thank God. Amen. She ain't with that other spirit. You understand what I mean? But, yeah, but t- come me and you, we, we, we for life, right? But you had to pay a price for not hearing me. And it was heavy. See right here. Right. But thank God. Thank God, yes. Your story may not end that way. If she just coming back and say, God, I thank you, amen. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Come on, uh, Keith. She ain't the only one I told the truth. Some of you don't have enough God to come back. You ought to win it because somebody prayed for you. Somebody believed in you. Somebody called your name out. Hey. You live long enough, you think twice of the people who liked you in your rebellion. Then when it all blew up, they're the same ones liking up. Man, people, are, man, this is your city. Same ones. Are they jealous? My trap game down. Yeah, he downtown. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you downtown. Hmm? You say, but what about everybody else up there wrong? Well, I'm telling you, he's an executive. He live in Australia. He just come through. That's a helicopter out there at that private airport. That's who? Huh? Our Davion is in Silicon Valley. He, he hiding out in his house. Faking like he's somewhere. Right. <laughs> he down there shining too, y'all. Yeah, he is. Y'all know that? Yeah. Oh, Lord, I ain't going to say that. Yeah. He he got, thank Thanks. God for, uh, uh, no, because he can't real close. He almost has somebody who's playing a role. And he escaped. I should have known because I mean I talk that talk, you know. They act like oh, I'm hearing you. I'm only hearing you because I have to act like I'm hearing you, but I'm really not that person. Well, guess what? This is a Rolling Stone song. Time is on your side. Just wait. Mm-hmm. Just don't poke nobody. Right. Don't get don't get yourself trapped. Let squirt always be a soft drink. Don't 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 let it be you. <laughs> let squirt always be a soft drink. <laughs> 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 That's original stuff there, boy. <laughs> put that on, don't put that on no t-shirt, eh? <laughs> hmm? And look who he's with. Amen. 
if you're a Davion, you only want to be in a wilderness with a Brianna. Because where two or three are gathering his name, y'all fool around. Command God bring you an abundant shower. Ain't nothing better than that. Let me close. I can hear my, my, my older folk because they be clapping too quick. Let me get them. See, see, because sometimes I can get everybody. That's equal opportunity. You start looking at other people's life. So the beauty of this, Vicky, is the weary part. God know you weary. You're weary, right? He know how to bring abundant shower and refresh, refresh the weary. Any situation, whether you sick, lonely, broke, Anything you stay in too long, you're going to be weird to wear you down. That's just human nature. Right. Nobody is all faith 24 hours, seven days a week, 365 no, a year. No, and they, they lie. They got a lying problem. Real pathological liar. <laughs> <laughs> I know folks, if they talking, they lying. If they nod their head, it's a lie. <laughs> no, you do too. Now, if it's you, you know yourself. I just see, I just covering my bases. All right? (laughs) Weary. You get tired. Always look at Psalm 73. Because it says, until I went to the sanctuary of the Lord, then I understood their end. Mm -hmm. Don't get mesmerized by nothing mesmerized look in the mirror I love your individuality because you're young you got to maintain it though because somebody going to challenge you you look in the mirror and you thank God you want to be the best you in the world and yet you, you recognize other people's gifts people have other gifts things that you don't have but you want to be the most authentic you does that make sense? Yes. Your authentic self. Because sometimes you got to learn how to celebrate by yourself. You may not have the kind of family, don't even know how to. You got to stand in the mirror and say, God, I, th- I thank you for 26 points, 18 rebounds. Yeah. I thank you, God, for the agility. I thank you. Huh, I'm able to get on the court because mama ain't got no boyfriend. I got a duck. Aim. All that means something. Learn to celebrate. Be your best cheerleader. Huh? Learn how to praise God while you're young. When you hear the, because you might come from a family that struggles with depression. You know why? No victories. No victories. It's a pattern. Everybody smoke, drink, boo up, rob, steal, cheat. Just it's whole, everybody in the family. Wow. So you tell me, I'm going to go to school. You, you, you bring a chemistry book. So the family picnic, they, <laughs> it's so bad that young men, if they talk about marriage, they can't tell nobody in the family they're going to get married. We don't get married. What you do that for? Ooh. Right. There are families, every child is out of wedlock. Right. <laughs> and there's no shame. No big deal. Right. Sure enough. To the point they ain't careful, a child in covenant, they'll look at that like that's strange. Yeah. Don't mistreat it, but that's no no. And we'll set up the environment for another one. I, I, you know what? I don't live so well. I'm going to lie to you. This late in my life. <laughs> That's nonsense. No warning, no nothing. Let's celebrate it. Hmm? So when that child comes up, that's just what we do. But some of you, and nobody picks their family. 
But some of y'all have looked and determined. That's why you hate alcohol. That's why you hate weed. That's why you ain't let nobody beat you. You watch your mama beat. Come on and tell God, thank you. I ain't telling you something you don't. You suffer. Wasn't nobody at your game. Didn't nobody tell you when to come in. You weren't protected. You was essential wearing draws, panties while you were running track. Didn't nobody say nothing. Come in. Go out when you want to. Thank God for Betty. Amen. You might have been mad, but you grown now. You show glad that Betty didn't let you rip and run. My little Bashaquita. She educated, folks. She yeah. made big money. Yeah. But she a round the way girl. Schooling those girls. Yeah. See, most people who accomplish like that, they can't, they get lost. <laughs> yeah. They only get found when they run to folk who folk been living like that for thousands of years. <laughs> She's amazing. Most yeah. people, they can't, man. If they make a certain amount of money. No, she right there. Don't ever think. If you make fifty thousand dollars, you should speak to everybody. The janitor, <laughs> the meter maid. Okay. You should wake up. You have to be at work at eight. You should wake up at seven, practicing good morning, good morning, good morning. Make sure you talk to everybody. And I'm, if you make a hundred grand, hundred grand after taxes is like about sixty three thousand dollars. Don't get sprung on that stuff. But I'm going to get high. If you're a millionaire, Kobe was worth uh, $700 million when he got in that helicopter that morning. He crashed. $700 million. He was going to be a billionaire. And that girl, his wife, he, she's 18 years old. They told her to leave school. You know why? She had a $100,000 ring on. And she had a Mercedes Benz outside. They said, you, you're a distraction. You got to leave school. Okay? Now... <laughs> She was young, teenager, but I ain't heard where nobody ran through that money since he'd been dead. Right. Checked his mama, yeah. her mama. Yeah. Look, look it up for yourself. Mm -hmm. She was 18. And he must have gave her the ins and outs of business, and I ain't heard where they ran through nothing. They tried to release a tennis shoe. She checked damn night, man. My only fear is his older daughter just dropped dead. Don't even look real with no dad. Hopefully somebody will come in uh, and be a father. Not like her dad. Her dad was all that. But be there so that somebody don't come through the demons out there. I know I'm wasting. I always hear this, but you need to know I'm telling you the truth. Yes. Amen. There are people who do not want you to succeed who do not want you to war the good warfare, who will spend their whole life trying to take you down. Come on, people. Don't leave me out there hanging. You know, Bishop, yeah. The family members that just don't understand why you can't be the ATM of the family. You don't know who you are. My family know I don't find sin. Ask them. They do well if I pick up. Because if I see their number, I don't. They know it. My, my niece is beautiful girl, but I can't like that picture. You're showing too much cleavage, girl. You're pretty girl. She got to show nothing. <laughs> That's her mama. She's not my niece. She's my... Great niece? What's, she, mm -hmm. what's Kimmy's daughter to me? Kimmy is your sister. Great niece, right? Know, the, the, yeah, yeah, I don't care. Whatever it is. Yeah. <laughs> what do I deal with them? I ain't liking that. <laughs> but here's, here's the... I left home when I was 17. I left home when I was 17. It's a big deal, folk. I've been dealing with grown folk. How about that? For 50 years. Yeah. 
So once upon a time, since I was the youngest, once upon a time, family uh, affirmation, good word, all that might have meant something. Uh, let's go biblical. If you Moses, once you're under Pharaoh, you ain't the same no more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So one day, it won't be Quanah's God, it'll be your God. It won't be Brandy and Dante's God. It'll be your God. It won't be. And you're going to think. It may not be as long as you think. You might be in high school. Huh? With a shooter coming through. I ain't trying to scare you. It is what it is. Well, you call on the name of the Lord because you cannot get a hold of your mama. Her phone died. But you the one that rebuked that depressed demon, that bully child who, amen, dropped his gun because I hope I ain't prophesying. Did my cami stop a massacre at Walmart? I was at a movie. My phone was off. I never cut my phone off again. The boy didn't drop it because, oh, I'm past the bar, little son. But no, my son was listening. He never was told he was better than nobody. He calmed that young man down, Lord, in the break room. Walked in there with a shotgun. I thank God if I'd been ripping and running and messing over his mama, he could have been angry and been dead. Somebody shout hallelujah. You better thank God for the sanctuary. There's help in the sanctuary. I wonder what would have happened in your body if the first grader would have said, Jesus. The boy sitting there in class picking them off. Reloading with armed people outside. And you don't want your child to go to Sunday school. <laughs> the way it is, <laughs> target every place, what they call a Marcus, Soft targets. Whole world's a soft target. Be able to call on the name of the Lord. Huh? Remember the dude who thought he was going to kill something? That woman, that black woman talked that boy down. That's an anointing. That ain't what my pastor said. No, it was in her. Amen. That demon ran into somebody. Who already had the weapons of warfare that weren't carnal. What happens if a demon run into the God in you? The anointing. <laughs> in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. On the way you're going. Might be on a flight. I ain't bragging. I think I done landed some of those planes because that pocket, man, anytime a plane look like it's Six Flags, so I'd remind God I was there. <laughs> Are you tripping? Well, I'm teaching tonight, and so the plane must have landed, right? All right. I was saying, no, you tripping. A guy, you know who's on this plane? I know this one. <clears throat> All right, y'all do you then. You want God you want to be your God. Somebody going to love one of y'all. Somebody going to take your last name. And it can't be Pastor Barlow's God. It got to be your God. Hmm. You go to the doctor. And they do all they can. It has to be your God. Your wife could have a difficult birth. A breach birth. And you lay on her hands. And it's your God. Hmm? You could have a breach birth. Something just wrong. It's still a miracle. Huh? And your husband, not your boyfriend. Your boyfriend may not even show up. Ask the women who boyfriends weren't there. This is real, folks. That's why we don't do religion. We talking about relationship with God. Works 24 hours, 7 days a week. Every continent, every country. You praise him in the morning, you praise him at night. So right now he do some praise. It's nighttime. Amen. You thank him for his faithfulness. Huh? How you live that way? 
I'm 67 years old, which means I have had 67 February 7th. My wife said in the morning, where are you going dressed like that? This is my day to day. <laughs> and she said, I didn't tell you you could leave the house like that. I didn't ask permission. <laughs> Every head bow. Water good warfare. If you at war, you ain't got to look like it coming out in the public. <laughs> Keep a brush in your car, an extra bundle, whatever you do, you do, you. <laughs> Keep a set of eyelashes in the glove box. <laughs> whatever you do. Pray, KT, I'm just trying to help you world warfare. You can't look like Ukraine every day now. And you got to meet the public. <laughs> Hear and pray, KT, for my mind. My mind's quick. Precious Lord, Father, and Savior in heaven. Lord, somebody came to the sanctuary to solidify their relationship with you. They knew where to come. Somebody didn't hesitate, but somebody came weary in their wilderness. Somebody going through right now. But Lord, they came and learned to pray. Lord, please march through my wilderness. God, shake the earth in my wilderness. Bring the abundant rain in my wilderness. Make it rain from my head to my feet. Make it rain on my seed, Father. Hallelujah. Make it rain so much it restores my strength in you. Make it rain so much I can feel and it comes out of my belly like living water. Lord, make it rain abundantly, Father. Hallelujah. As only you can do in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. What a prayer.